To get started, I just added a video clip to my timeline that I like to put my text on top of. To add some text, head over to the Media tab and click the New button. Select Composite Shot. The default settings work fine for me, so I'm just going to click OK. Select the Text tool and click in the frame. Set the dimensions of the text box to your liking and then type your text. And I'm just going to go over to the Text tab and change my text size. Alright, we're finished adding text, so let's go back to the editor. Open up the Media tab. Drag your new composite shot above the Video 1 track on the timeline to where you'd like your text to start flickering. Then drag its end to trim it to where you'd like your text to stop being shown. We don't need the audio on our composite shot, so right click it and select on Link. Then delete the audio. And I'm just going to use the selection tool to reposition my text to the middle of my frame. Next, make sure your time head is positioned somewhere before your composite shot. Then use the Page Down key on your keyboard to move the time head to the start of the composite shot. Use a slider at the bottom of the timeline to zoom in on the time head's position. Once you're zoomed in, select the Slice tool. Press the right bracket key on your keyboard to move the time head forward one frame. Make a cut at the time head's position. Press the right bracket key again to move the time head forward another frame. Then make another cut at the time head's position. Now just keep moving the time head forward one frame and making cuts at each position until you've reached the end of your composite shot. If you end up making mistakes, you can just use the left bracket key to move back one frame. When you're finished making cuts, click on the selection tool. While holding down the control key on your keyboard, select every other cutout frame of your composite shot. Make sure to select the top of each frame, otherwise HitFilm will think you're trying to create keyframes. Once you have every other frame selected, hit the delete key to get rid of them. Ok, and now when I play this back, I have a nice looking flicker effect. Alright, that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching and see you next time.